squirt a little bit of paint in of the colors that you like and trust me less is more with this so just go around kind of put in the different colors and then you're going to cover the lit the top the opening and then start shaking so yeah trust me less is more with this i definitely put way too much silver in and it just kind of overtook all of the other colors you can always add more paint if you need to you probably won't um, it can take a little bit of time to completely cover the inside of the bauble with the paint but just keep shaking it tap it if you need to to move the paint around um, I would take your time with it to move the paint around rather than adding too much paint Okay, next you're going to take your Mod Podge glue, and this step is optional. Um, and I grabbed this glittery uh, rose gold stuff <laughs> um, and started sticking it on. I would really recommend that you cut it up more finely before you put it on because the big chunky pieces were pretty difficult to stick down. Um, so it, it's up to you. You can leave it chunky if you want, but... For the ease of it, I would suggest cutting it up a bit more finely first. Um, and then I was sticking them on piece by piece because it was so chunky. I tried just sticking the glued end of the ball into the pieces, but because it was so chunky, it didn't really pick up. Um, but if it's more finely chopped, perhaps it would work better that way because it was a little time consuming um, putting on each individual piece, but it's still dried really beautifully and I'm super happy with the result. Also you can totally put extra Mod Podge over the top of the pieces you've already glued if you want to layer it or even just to secure it. It's going to dry clear so you don't have to worry about that. I also ended up sprinkling on a little bit of glitter over the top of it while it was still wet just to make it extra sparkly. But you have so many options, just get creative with what you like. 